So time running out further south in Olympia to pass some brand new laws. One effort still alive, though, is a proposal to up the fines for HOV violators. Some people think the fine is so low, so they just drive at them anyway. Mm. Yeah, check us out on king5.com slash vote now as well. We want to hear what you think. How much should violators be fined if they're caught in the lanes? People are just not getting the message, according to the State Patrol. Some of the new numbers we got here, HOV violators in 2016, just over 14,000 statewide, according to the State Patrol. 2017, almost 15,000. It's going up. Then in 2018, it went way up. 19,511 drivers accused of HOV violations out on the roadway. The hope for the state is that increasing the cost of a ticket will help get these numbers down. I can see a little face. Another day on the job for state trooper Heather Axman. It's eyes on the road and eyes on the car next to her. It's not a passing lane. It's not a general purpose lane. Here she thinks she spotted a single driver breaking the law by driving in the high occupancy vehicle lane. I believe there's a kid in the back. There's a mirror that's facing the car seat. Over the years, she's had more than a few violators and more than a few laughs involving drivers doing everything they can to cheat the system. They'll put mannequins or the baby doll. Their creativity is pretty funny to me. Um, I still give them a ticket <laughs> and I try to take a picture of it. This is one reason why state lawmakers want to up the fine for drivers attempting to be sly and deceptive. The new law would hike the cost of an HOV ticket from $136 to $186. Drivers caught a second time within two years would face a $336 fine. A third violation in the same 24-month period could cost $686. There's an extra $200 fine for anyone trying to fake a human. Drivers doing the right thing think it's a good idea. It is very frustrating seeing that, especially if I'm part of the HOV and I have other people in the car. On the on-ramps going onto the freeway, it's like way easier. The hope for lawmakers like bill sponsor Senator Marco Lias is that the increased fine will be a deterrent. We definitely won't be the most expensive states for these tickets. I think a couple other states have higher penalties, um, but we definitely want to send the message that people need to follow the rules or pay the penalty. But will the fine be a deterrent enough? I've gotten those kind of drivers where they say, oh, it's about time I got caught. This is exactly what I do every single day. It's a step in a new direction, best avoided by refusing at all to be a traffic dummy. There's some creative commuters out there, I will say that. I can't believe someone would do that. Like, what are you thinking when you're putting a hat on a dummy? And Anyway, you can help. Uh, WashDOT's HERO program is a way that you can call to report violators on the road. They get about 2,000 calls a month from drivers. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty active. It's one 764 hero uh, In our next hour, we're going to show you some of the hot spots, too, where they're caught the most.